Hi everyone! This tutorial introduces the new version of HD Eyes, featuring high-resolution irises and a revamped digital human eye shader. These enhancements add remarkable detail, making the eyes more realistic than ever. First, let's take a look at the HD Eyes and digital human eye shader. The CC5 character pack provides a wide variety of HD eyes in different colors. We can apply these eyes directly to the character with a subsequent prompt using the option to replace completely or material only. For this tutorial, we'll just replace the material only to change the eye color. Notice that the material for the HD eyes now uses upgraded 2K textures, instead of the legacy 1K textures in the originals. Not only does this make the eyes appear clearer, the textures are actually scanned from real-life eyeballs, providing unparalleled detail. Now, let's take a look at all the shader slider options. First, we can adjust the iris color according to your goals, as well as inner scale and inner color for more distinct eye coloration. Next, we can adjust iris scale and iris depth scale. Modifying the iris depth gives different surface effects by controlling the refraction of lighting. Lifelike optical refractions help make the iris appear more realistic. Let's adjust the limbus dark scale and width color to increase the size of the iris and enhance its shading. Notice the normal map within the texture section. Here, we can adjust the Sclera Flatten Normal attribute to control the tactile appearance of the blood vessels. The brightness and roughness of the entire Sclera can also be modified to control the surface's blurriness and wetness. For shadows from the eyelids on the eyeballs, we can adjust the shadow intensity, range, and tint. With all these adjustment possibilities, we can easily create highly detailed, realistic eyes. Let's now go over the eye elements. Notice how the eye occlusion and tear line shader are both suffixed with the HD term. We can adjust the blur settings under occlusion to make the boundaries of the eyelids less sharp and the coloring can also be modified. The display blur range option can be enabled, making it easier to inspect the adjustments. We can individually adjust the contrast and range of the top blur. With the display blur range option disabled, it becomes more difficult to inspect the effect and its range, so it's recommended to use this feature when making adjustments. The outer and inner blur parameters can also be adjusted separately. Next, we can modify the tiling and micro-normal settings for the tier line to enhance surface details. And adjust the roughness attribute to control the wetness of the tear line. With the newly updated eye occlusion and tear line elements, we can elevate the realism of the eyes and make the eyelid lines appear more natural. Keep in mind that these elements can also be repositioned. By using the new HD eyes and digital human eye shader, we can quickly achieve stunning and precise eye variations. In addition, we obtain a more detailed and realistic set of eyes, tailored to the style and appearance of the characters. Thanks for watching.